All right, well. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Career Center News. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Alec. I am finding these leaves everywhere in our chairs. It seems like we haven't really cleaned up our yard known as the studio. Here are your top stories on what's happening at the Career Center. Breaking news from the Construction Academy. As you all may know, the senior class is fundraising for their trip to Chicago by selling beautiful Adirondack chairs and benches that will make you the coolest kid on the block. But we've heard some word of additional options. The Academy is offering wood stains for $15 more. Early American, Golden Oak, Redwood, and Dark Mahogany are the four types that are available. As a special bonus, you can add cup holders to the already gorgeously handcrafted Adirondack chairs. One in one arm is $10 and one in each arm is $20. Be sure to contact Mr. Baker, Mr. Shaw, or Mrs. Beavers to place an order. And now for an update on the happenings in the world of SkillsUSA. First, we'd like to thank all of you that attended the social on November 3rd. The night was full of fun and it was awesome to see members from other chapters. We also welcomed back some alumni that helped run the games. Career Center Skills USA would like to thank Chef Barry and the Culinary Department for doing an outstanding job once again. And thank you to the teachers that helped make the night a special one. Big shout out to Mr. Hunter for his dedication to Skills USA and the time he put into the social. On another note, if you have not paid your dues of $15 for Skills USA, make sure you get that taken care of in the coming weeks. You have a little bit of time still, but not very much, as we will be transitioning into chapter activities very soon. If you need help with payment, there are scholarships available. Talk to Mr. Hunter if you're interested in one of those scholarships. The latest you can pay due is December, and we'll keep reminding you until then. Don't you just love the holidays, Alec? Of course, especially one of my favorites is coming up, Thanksgiving. Right, what's not to love about Thanksgiving? Oh, I know. Cranberries. Uh, I mean, they're, they're just weird. weird. Weird to me. Oh. You're right. They're terrible. Uh, some people actually like cranberries, and, and some have never tried them, so we got to give them some respect. Let's hear from students in the halls of the Career Center to get the word. Are cranberries good, or are they garbage? What do you think about cranberry sauce? I think it's the best part of Thanksgiving. How do you feel about canned cranberry sauce? It's cranberry in a can. <laughs> so do you like it though? Not really. I think it's the texture and the fact that it comes in a can and it comes out in the shape of a can. Do you think you'd like it? Um, no. Wouldn't eat that. So no cranberry sauce? No. Just straight up turkey. So how do you feel about canned cranberry sauce? It's bomb. You eat it a lot at Thanksgiving? Maybe like half a can, yes. Hate it. Why? Because A, it's cheap. B, it doesn't taste very well and it's slimy. So no, I don't like So it's a texture thing for you? Very much so. And just, it just tastes gross. Uh, does anybody have an opinion on cranberry sauce and or has never tried it and would like to taste it for the first time? Never tried it? You want to try it? There it is. It's a little bite. <laughs> no? I don't like it. I think it's just the texture. It's just weird. It tastes like strawberry jelly. I know you have seen the way you that. It does. Have you ever tasted it before, Lexi? All right. Can I have the rest of it? It's all right. So you have to set it on its side first. Wait, I don't want to get my hands all messy. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Then you use these lines to guide you, and then you just cut. You see, I always get the biggest piece, which is this piece, because I'm cool. <laughs> and so then you just kind of like slice. <laughs> and then you just got to just keep slicing, like every second row, because if you do like every first row, it'll be too thin. This is difficult with the spoon. Jelly. Shake it if you must. Would you like to help Francisco? Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Alright. How are you feeling about this now, Francisco? That's um, scared. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. <laughs> How are you feeling about this, Adam? It's slimy. It's like more slimy than even thought. Eat it, Adam. It's like jello. I get sick, it's on you guys. All right, man. Like jelly. Is it good jelly? Is it bad jelly? Yeah, it's bad jelly. <laughs> That's weird. I mean, it's weird. Sauce? No. Juice? Yes. So what do you think of cranberry sauce for the final time? No. Yeah, blah. Thanksgiving is great and all, but after break, we've always got to come back to school. There will be just three weeks left until the end of the semester, which means something big. Grades. This is the grade that stays on your transcript, so be sure you're putting in 110% to make sure your grades are the best they can be. For those of you struggling with your classes here at the Career Center, remember, you can always come to Makeup Monday and finish up any work you haven't gotten done in class. Then the, the next Makeup Day will be from December 6th from 3 to 6. Time to send a shout out to one of our very own digital production students, Jalen Harris. He had a highlight catch during the last game of Omaha Central's football season against Papillion La Vista South. Let's turn it over to our resident sportscaster, Alec, to describe what happened. Put on Alec? My fake headset here. Let, let's take a look at this because Jalen did a really great job. First off, here's Jordan Flowers in the backfield, five step drop. Looking to his man, Jalen Harris, up in the air. He's guarded by a receiver. That's him right there. Drops in and somehow comes up with it. Referee says, yes, that's complete. I mean, let's take a look at this in slow motion. So Jordan stepping back. This is up in the air. He's guarded probably in man coverage. You got a safety coming over. He's up in the air. He probably should have caught this first time. Bob was it off his shoulder, off his back, and somehow he rolls it up and completes it. Tried to knock it out of his hand there was the defender, but didn't matter. He got the catch. Very impressive. Great job, Jalen. And now it's time to catch up on the weekend forecast. This week will be cool and cold. Friday will be cloudy with the high of 49, which is on the warmer side of this week. Saturday is even colder with the high of 43, so bundle up. Saturday, November 20th, will be sunny but cold with a high of 44, not much warmer at all. Monday is the warmest day of this weekend with a high of 51, so maybe wear a jacket to stay toasty. And now as we wrap up our news update, let's take you back to the SkillsUSA Mid-America Conference back in October. Well, Jacqueline, for the most part, is a really great time. What do you mean for the most part? Oh, wait. Oh, I do remember oh. someone belting his heart and soul out in the famous number from Frozen, didn't Let think, It Go. Didn't think this was going to come back. Oh, wait. Wasn't that you? That's definitely something I wish I could forget. You see, Alec lost his ID badge at the convention, and we captured his punishment on video. Let's have everyone take a look. No. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> Let it go, can't hold it back anymore. They don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. Look, I'm going to try and let that go because we're all done for this edition of Career Center News. I'm Alec. And I'm Jacqueline. Stay frozen, everyone. The cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> <laughs>